if you notice people who usually do cheat, they'll say they did it because you did something or you're lacking something or they were missing something. When ultimately, if you sit still long enough, that's not why you did it. Mm. You did it because you wanted to do it and you're just using whatever it is as an excuse to justify your actions. Mm. But you didn't do it because I didn't freaking cook dinner three days in a row mm. or because you didn't, couldn't get sex this week. You did it because cheating is a character flaw. Mm. It's a defect. Mm -hmm. You are dishonest. You lack integrity. You don't have any morals. Mm -hmm. You don't have a conscience. So, you know, that's why you did it, because you're selfish. Mm. You know, that whole, I lied to you to protect your feelings and stuff like that. All of that, all, all of those are dysfunctional statements mm -hmm. that people use to their benefit. Yeah. You know? So I want to ask you this. Would you prefer a guy cheats and then he, um, he just tells you or, or you want to find out yourself? What you mean? Like if, if you're, let's just assume you're in a relationship now. Oh, okay. And your, your boyfriend cheats on you. Oh, okay. Will you uh, will you want him to admit that oh he cheated on you or you want to find out yourself? Oh. All the above. <laughs> <laughs> All the above. All the above. Why? <laughs> because I know some women that say that they don't go looking for their own hurt. Uh -huh. But it's just because you don't want to go and be you don't want to be woken up out of out of the dream and the reality of what you think something is. Mm -hmm. But tell me, uh, well well now I don't I don't deal with cheaters. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> I did deal with someone and he did that and I let him go. Mm. I, I don't deal with cheaters. So if you if you're in a relationship right now, mm -hmm. or just in hypothetical, mm -hmm. and your your boyfriend happens to cheat on you, that'll be then, the end of the relationship. And then he admits to you that he's wrong and say, "Baby, I want to change. I mm -hmm. want to I want to like walk out of this um, situation right now mm -hmm. and be a better man." What are you gonna do? Are you gonna be like, "No, nah, I don't believe you," and that's it? I've done it. You've done it. I've done it. And how was that? How was it? Life is great for me. I don't know how it is for them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm really, I'm not one of those um, practice what I preach uh -huh. or do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. I actually do it. You Ooh. know? Yeah. So, you know, if anything, you only can know if something works if you do it, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, no, I don't have to deal with anything that you don't have to deal with from me. Mm. You know, because the one thing I think, you know, men teach us a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys, there's a lot of things that y'all won't deal with, uh -huh. that we deal with as such as. And I've learned that with my platform itself where it's like women deal with the cheating. Mm -hmm. You know, we deal with the men making the babies. Mm -hmm. You know, a man, you can't make no baby. He ain't coming in the house to raise this man kid. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Men, then they try to say, well, men are territorial, so women aren't. You know what I mean? So it's just like, well, I can't even imagine another woman or another man going in, and, going in and out of you and sleeping with you. But I'm supposed to be okay with imagining <laughs> another woman sleeping with you. You get it? You get what I'm saying? It's, mm -hmm. it's all those things that, that we do. Um, so I think that women, you know, really need to start taking pages out of men's hand because they tell you mm -hmm. the stuff that you accept and he ain't going to accept if you do it. You mm -hmm. want to go and find out the hard way. Why do you think that most of the time that, you know, I hate the uh, the the cheat retaliators. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did it because you did it. Mm. So because of what he did or what someone chose to do to you, you chose to alter your character. Mm. You, you either are something or you're not. Wow. But I'm not going to change who I am just because you did something. Mm. No, I'm just going to remove myself and give it to somebody else. Mm. So um, that's where I am now. I had to grow to that point and, and stuff like that and get rid of a lot of the, uh, the trauma and stuff like that and really grow and learn self. But yeah, you cheat, you cheat. Don't do to me what I'm not going to do to you. And I know that it's true because if I'm in a relationship with you, I'm not a cheater. Mm -hmm. So I know that non-cheaters exist. Mm -hmm. I'm one of them. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? So you can't tell me that that, it, that every man cheats. I just think that if you feel like every man cheats, then that means that most of the men that you've been with cheated. Oh, yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? So no. So if I catch you, out, I catch you cheating, find you cheating. That's I can't, it. that's it. That's it. And that's it. And then a lot of times, you know, I know it's hard. We can't walk away a lot of times mm -hmm. right away. But what I also do is while I'm in it, I'm dis disconnecting. Mm. So if I'm not able to leave you today, yeah. oh, I've already started the process to disconnect from you while I'm with you. Mm. Because one day it's going to be, and it ain't going to take years. Yeah. You understand? Because <laughs> the way I be praying and God shows up, you know what I'm saying? For these prayers, I'm going to get you up out of here. Wow. You know what I mean? So that's that's really what it is. Um, side note, I'm, I'm gifted. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the times um, when something isn't right, I've, I dream it. Mm -hmm. And I, oh, I've seen it. 
So I, you know, I know, and then my body reacts too. Like you gotta know yourself. I know when my partner slept with somebody else because my body reacts, and I'm not talking about an STD. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My my body is going to tell me what you didn't done before before you've done it. Mm-hmm. And just because I um I know who I am, and I know, first importantly, and I also know whom I belong to, mm-hmm. just a man upstairs, yeah. and um, trusting that discernment and that intuition, he gave it to me. You know what I mean? So. Um, if you ain't right, if you ain't right, people often say, well, how do I know if my partner cheating? Because you're thinking it. Because mm. you're thinking it. Wow. That's how you know. And I, I want to <laughs> I wanna say this because some, some ladies think guys cheat more than ladies. Ladies think. Um, <laughs> They're stupid. And vice versa. <laughs> who, in your opinion, who, who cheats more? Is it the ladies or the guys? Oh, so if I have to play into this. Yeah. I feel like I feel like it's equal. But if you want me to pick a side. Yeah. Um, men. I would say men. Only- Do you know why? Because it's easy. We, guys are not complicated. It's easy to figure a guy out. But if a lady cheats, sometimes it's tough to find out. Well, men, a lot of men lack discipline. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of them lack discipline, hence as to why they have multiple children, multiple, you know, women, you know. But if you ask me, I feel like people who cheat have a mental disorder. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that? And I've said this on my show before. Why do you say that though? Because that's an interesting take. To me, it's it's there's there has to be a mental illness of some kind because you could come home to me and you're been mm-hmm. with me, right? You're yeah. been. We're Benny Ben Ben. Uh-huh. We're this way. And and I'm getting the full you, uh-huh. right? Uncut. Then you go over here with Sheila. Sheila's getting another side of you. Oh. Sheila's not getting this attitude. Sheila is getting all laugh and joy, which is making you think that home is getting on your nerves. Oh. So in order to, mul- to in order to be able to juggle multiple people mm-hmm. and cut off feelings at certain points when dealing with multiple women, because you have people who can do it. Mm. You have to have a be schizo, bipolar, or something to be able to be this person. A different person with different people. Yeah. So there's a that has to me. I'm I'm gonna figure out. We're gonna do a study on this. To me, there has to be a chemical imbalance somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm serious yeah. because when you it like, but if you you know, I say that for fun. But if you really look at it, right, yeah. with, with people who've cheated or maybe those watching or you know, I don't know about you yourself, but it it takes a lot. You know, you become a, a different person. You. It takes time to come up with lies. Mm-hmm. So now you're thinking about, about different ways and not even knowing you're being deceitful. So you have to make sure all your stories matches. Some people even go as far as getting their friends in on it. Like you are a psycho mm-hmm. to me, to me. It takes too much power to 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 lie. Yeah. And and that is what you choose to give your energy to? That's that's crazy. First of all, I don't cheat. Good. Let me just get it out of <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, oh, this guy might be one. <laughs> but but that's the, but do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, even if that may not be it, there has to be a disconnect of something. Mm-hmm. But you know, most importantly, the first thing when it comes to cheaters is, you know, the lack of self love. You yeah. don't love yourself. That's true. That's why you're doing it. You mm-hmm. you don't even think you're good enough to be with one woman. You are spreading yourself thin. Yeah. Like, oh, so you have no value and no standard. None. Yeah, that's messed up.